Hey, I hope you are having a really great day or night or whatever you're having. Maybe you're up in space. I wouldn't, I couldn't care less. As long as you're here with me, that's all that really matters. Today we're gonna go through something that we here in Sweden call Särskrivning. And what is Särskrivning, you might ask. And I will tell you, I sure will. In the Swedish language, we tend to combine words, to create new words in different contexts. And sometimes, when Swedish people want to type a certain word that is supposed to be combined, they forget to combine it and they suddenly create hilarious sentences, which we laugh for eternity. I found a couple of pictures with Sarskin me out on them, and I thought we should go through them together. Shall we? Are you prepared? I'm gonna hold your hand. Don't be afraid. Let's go. Okay, so the first picture. Oh, this is a classic one. So the sentence says in Swedish, Gå alltid lätt packad i fjällen. Which translates into, always walk drunk in the mountains. No. <laughs> what they wanted to do was to put the two words, lätt and packad, together. Combine them. Mm. Instead of meaning slightly drunk, it would mean easily packed. Ah, never mind. It was funny. You'll get a hang of it. Soon you will be in here and laughing as well. So, second image. Oh, this image, wow. So this text says, Tre kantiga mackor. Which translates into three edgy sandwiches. <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. What they wanted to do was to put the word tre, which means three, and kantiga, which means edgy or sided, together and make triangle sandwiches. Couldn't be m more easy than that. Next image! So the text here says kul glass, which means funny ice cream, and I'm pretty sure that they that's not what they wanted to say. What they really wanted to do was to put these two words together to form kul glass instead of kul glass. Uh, what? <laughs> Which would uh, instead translate into ice cream, you know, the, like the ball, ice cream balls. Ice cream balls <laughs> that you put on cone, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so next image. So this text here in this thingy, I don't know what it is, like a card reader or something. It says, kort fel, which translates into short error. It is a short error, but that's not what they wanted to say. Basically, if you put these two words together, it makes card error. Mm-mm-mm. Aya baya. Next image. This seems to be some kind of an ad for uh, hiring a teacher. So the header says Svensk lärare till Vikenskolan, which translates into Swedish teacher to Vikenskolan. You would think that they're asking for a Swedish teacher because they haven't put Svensk and lärare together. They're actually asking for a Swedish teacher, not a teacher that teaches Swedish. Okay, so the next image. So this text says skum kanin me annanas smak. <laughs> it translates into shady rabbit with pineapple flavor. What they wanted to do was to put skum, which means foam or shady and kanin, which means rabbit, together to form the word skum kanin, which is a candy. I don't know if you have it. I'm gonna put up a picture here for skum kanin. Ta looks tasty, delicious, right? Next image! Okay, so this sign, it says in Swedish, Välkommen Sten, which translates to Welcome Sten. Sten is a common Swedish name. So obviously they're trying to welcome this guy called Sten. If they would put these two together, it would mean welcome stone, because that's obviously what they're trying to sell here. Okay, so the final image of today. It translates to Mr. Sauna. <laughs> Maybe this is a sign outside an office and somebody's called Mr. Sauna, but I don't think so. Put these two together and you will get uh, the sauna for gentlemen, because the first word had means Mr. or gentleman or whatever you want to call it. And Bastu is sauna. There you have it, a couple of sash Kedivnia, which were hilarious. I'm sure you were laughing your ass off over there. <clears throat> have a great day, sleep tight. <laughs>